How long is too long to wait to respond to a text? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical beasts, a question is like a rainbow. Once asked, you scour the hillside searching for that rainbow's end because you know there's going to be a pot of golden answer goodness. You search high and low, but you realize that finding the end of a rainbow is impossible. Unless, of course, you have the help of an answer leprechaun. You're in luck, mythical beast, because with me magical beard and Link's ability to make teen issues, we can easily pose as leprechaun imposters. Top of the morning to you, we say as we pinch each other's butts and successfully befriend a family of answer leprechauns who happily lead us to the end of the rainbow. And our mythical beast, glistening in that beautifully refracted rainbow light, is an enormous cauldron full of gold doubloons. And your answer. <laughs> oh, wow. That was great, Red. Happy was... St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Uh, that was my best. That's all I've got. Uh... There's no more where that came from. Doubloons are defunct Spanish currency, but happy St. Patty's Day anyway. We ask you to ask us questions about etiquette. Hmm. Etiquette questions. First one from Telepathically Speaking. How late is too late <laughs> to respond to a text message? Okay, I have some pretty strong feelings about this. I think in general, you should wait no more than an hour to respond to a text. I agree with that. 60 but minutes. I do want to say that if you respond in the same day, you're not being rude, but if the day goes by, you go to sleep, Okay. you don't text, at that point, you're just being rude. Yeah, because you might be swimming for three hours, Yeah. and then you gotta respond to the text. Swimming, it happens. D don't let the sun set on an unresponded text, just as sitting there. But, and this is a big but, if and when you start typing in response to a text, and that bubble and the dot, dot, dot comes yep. up for the other person so they know that you are indeed typing a text to them, even if you change your mind, which I do frequently, and delete the whole thing, and right. then that that goes away, oh, yeah. they stop typing. They stop typing entirely. You have 60 seconds. Oh, the you have, clock is you have 59.99999 seconds to respond to that text. And you gotta come up with something. So the question is, what's it gonna be when you don't know? And we have the answer. We have the answer, we have the one word answer. That's right, that word is perhaps. 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 It works in any situation that happens within texting. The word perhaps. Let, let, me, uh, let me demonstrate. Someone who you don't like hanging out with text, want to hang out? Perhaps. Um, your landlord text, your rent is two weeks overdue, pay me by the end of the day or I will evict you. Perhaps. Your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend text, I'm going to fine you and kill you in your sleep. Perhaps. Your mama text, I love you. Perhaps. Your boss text, I need that report, stat. Perhaps. Then your boss text, you're fired. Perhaps. See, it never doesn't work, which means that it always does work. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, ne that's it. Next question. Coming from our own hands against our hearts, who asks, why is it so stressful trying to guess what manner of greeting to give a new person? Cheek kiss, handshake, crisp high five, finger guns and a wink? There should be written guidelines. You know what, it, you're right. It is stressful to know what greeting to choose as they're walking up or as you're walking up, what do I do? There's so many options. And yes, uh, it does call for written guidelines, which is why we present to you a Good Mythical Morning work of chart. Good Mythical Morning Work of Chart, number 76, Choosing the Proper Greeting. Selecting the best method to greet someone can feel overwhelming and complicated, but it's actually quite simple and straightforward. First, we gotta establish who are they. If you work together, are they a subordinate or your boss? Do you like your job? Maybe you don't. Maybe your boss insists on calling you Carol even though you repeatedly told him that your name is Carl. Go in for a fist bump, then surprise him with a wet willy. He'll never see it coming. What if the person is a family member? Is it your parent, sibling, or a third cousin that you're pretty sure is adopted? No problem. Are you seeing them at a family reunion or in a sauna? Okay. Are you naked? It doesn't really matter. Are they naked? Yes. Have you made eye contact? If no, run away. If yes, give that naked cousin some double finger guns and a wink. If the person you meet happens to be a total stranger, always ask yourself, is there danger? No? 
Are you sure? You think so? Think again. Run away. One of the most important greetings is when you meet a date. First off, what date is it? Your hundredth? Your first? Oh, you're not even sure if it's even a date at all? Well, in this situation, location is key. Are you meeting him at the movies? Coffee shop? Sauna? Sauna? Wait, you're dating your third cousin? I think he got it from here. What if you're simply greeting a friend? Are they your best friend? A frenemy? Oh, you honestly thought they were dead until you saw their Facebook post about their new fitness regimen. That one's the trickiest. Is this your high school reunion or the mall food court? Are they in line at the Sabaro? Ooh, they're serving you food at the Sabaro. Proceed immediately to Panda Express. You didn't want ZD anyway. Now go and greet with confidence. It's that simple. And that chart is available on our Tumblr. Link is in the description. Elena Marie G asks, how to tell someone they have pit stains, boogers, food in their teeth, etc." Ah, uh, yes, this is a uh, useful skill mm -hmm. because you see the key is you want to be able to point something like that out to someone Subtly. without embarrassing them by saying it in front of a lot of people. Yeah. So just the other night, Link and I are having dinner with our permanent lady friends. Uh, those are our wives. Y and um, yeah. You know, and so I was like, Link's got some broccoli in his teeth, and I was like, I gotta let him know. So it I, happens. So I did the thing that I always do, and I kind of go into this, and just real subtle, I'm just like. And it's just, he's, and he knows exactly what I mean right. by that. I knew that there was some broccoli in the teeth, and right. I, I removed it, and I didn't know why my permanent lady friend didn't say anything first, but yeah, yeah, she yeah. didn't. Well, she, it was at my it angle, was okay. it was my angle. We, we had a little fight later about it, but and she won, but that's fine, okay. Yeah. She um, always does. Yeah, you know, we've got plenty of symbols uh, that we developed uh, over the course of our friendship. Yeah. Uh, signals, if you will, uh, a system, if you will, yeah. um, for all types of things. For instance, if Rhett's breath stinks, I'll just give a little, And he knows. Exactly. If Link has uh, some, Get some, gum. Eye, some eye crusties, then mm -hmm. I just very simply just say. Right, and no one sees that except me. He goes right I, for him. I just, I debugger the eyes. Right, uh, yeah. uh, Occasionally, Red will lift an arm or two, and there'll be a pit stain there. I gotta let him know, so I'm just like. Yeah, and as Link often does, he might come back from the bathroom with some toilet paper on his foot. And this is one I actually have to stand up for, but it is still pretty simple and straightforward. I'm just like. And then he, kn <laughs> he knows, knows yeah, what yeah. to do, right? Yeah, it's it's subtle. I mean, you're standing, but it is subtle. Right, right, right. Um, there's plenty of times where Rhett uh, squats down or bends over, and it's like, oh, his his butt cracks showing. Yeah. What just am the I going to do? Way I'm shaped. I'm just going to I'm just going to serve up a symbol. So uh, it it's pretty simple. I get his uh, get his attention, and I'm like, <laughs> yep. A little bit of that goes a long way. Right, I'd, I'd never mistake that for anything else other than can, my butt crack. Can we get a close up? Must be showing. Here we go. Yeah, see? just in case you didn't see the first I think, time. I think you might have wanted a close up of that. There's Link there mimicking is. my butt crack with his hand. That is what is happening right, right now. Very effective system. For, for your eyes only. Yeah, that's just a couple, that's just a just, couple just of things that we can only. do. We have a whole system. Okay, uh, now it is time for the <laughs> Mythical Games. As you know, each week we're competing against each other in a game to celebrate 75 years of M with our friends at m &Ms. Last week, Link took home the Mustard Makeover Medallion, but this week is a brand new challenge. It's time for the Magnetized Mullet March. Okay, we have donned our mullets that are magnetized. Just got a braid here with a dangling magnet on the end. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start on that side and we are going to march backwards. Marching means knees up to hand level. With your magnetized braid, you're going to, we are oh. going to grab, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. We're gonna grab something from the salvage yard and then we're going to march back over to our bucket. Once you cross over that line, you can touch your braid and the object, drop it off and then march back. Whoever gets the most objects in their bucket after 75 seconds wins. wins. Let's do it. Are you Mitch? I'm Mitch, you're Butch. <laughs> Butch. Hey Butch. Mitch, you got something in your beard, man. Yeah, hair. Hey, my odor's food. Food for later. <laughs> Food in your Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, I call your beard a Mitch. Oh, you, but your name's Mitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your name's Mitch. My name's Butch. Butch. Your name's Mitch. Yeah. 
In, in your my, Mitch, in your beard, man. That's weird. <laughs> okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. All right, Mitch. Let's get us some parts. Oh, God. Oh, I went too far. Oh, I, did I get one? Did I get one? I got a part. I don't know what it is, but I got it. Well, baby. Here we go. Woo. I got one, Mitch. What'd you get, Butch? I don't know. Let me see. Huh? <laughs> I'm not doing too good. I got a squat on this one. I got a speaker, Butch. Oh, I dropped it, Butch. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming on back. Oh. I gotta look where I'm going. Uh, I got an object, Butch. We but, got it. Hey, got, what are we building anyway? A tinker toy? Uh, hey! Uh, my magnet's too uh, weak. A robot? Mitch, you gave me a weak magnet. Butch, I didn't do nothing with your magnet. Uh, I'm walking. Uh, I'm marching too hard. Butch, I got a doorknob. I mean, I got something for a door. I'm also getting tired, Butch. <laughs> Butch, I'm, get, I'm getting. I'm getting tired, Butch. Well, I'm getting tired too. We need to hire a helper. Well, we're building a helper. Oh, Five, that's what it, oh. four, Woo. three, two, one, time. Oh. oh, time? Did I win? Brett did it faster, so he wins. Ah, the name's Mitch. Congratulations, Mitch. Yeah. You win the memento of militosity. Oh, congratulations to me. Woo. All right, stay tuned for more mythical games next week. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name is Carissa from Edmonton, Alberta, and it's time to spend the wheel of mythicality. Thanks to M&M's for sponsoring this episode. You too can celebrate with M. Click the link in the description to join us as we celebrate 75 years of M&M's. Mm, click through to Good Mythical More, where we're gonna open your mail. Uh, let's find out what this is. I know what it is. Oh. Overly confident conversation about particle physics. Well, of course you know. Uh, when, mm. it, when it comes to the physics of particles, yes, they, I'm, uh, I'm there. Yes, well, I'm in it. the thing about particles and the right? and they're so physical right. is that <laughs> they're they're I see small. them everywhere, and they're small. I, you've got particles all over you, and when they group, they make things. And you're made of particles, right? I'm made of particles. Everything is made of particles. And if you throw them up, what happens? Particle time. I don't particle time. Exactly That's right. right. <laughs> you throw them up, and it's particle, particle time. time. Shy Less then. than that, yeah, just a little. Wow. If, How many? Like, if we, we need break to set a bit bigger goal. Two million followers that's, on that's Twitter, a, and then Brett, Jen, and I will arm wrestle. <laughs> okay. A three-way arm wrestle. <laughs>